Today we'll be watching the new Sainsbury's Christmas advert. So you hear it's made quite a stir. That is an excellent first joke. Yeah, well there'll be, that's one of many. You may pause it if you want to say something, yeah? Right, okay. Okay. Jenkins, I'm clean. No! Bored so, at first, I'm thinking this man has forgotten his tea bags from. He's at war and he's gone, snap. I've forgotten I have my forgotten tea things. bags from Sainsbury's. There's those, those, those Christmas packages they got. But apart from they didn't have chocolate and stuff in, they had stuff like cocaine yeah. and morphine. It was quite obviously chocolate, wasn't it? Chocolate. It said chocolate on it, so I'm guessing chocolate. But they've, met, they've left out the hard drugs. There's, a, there's was... a, a historical flaw in what they've done. Well, that's the first thing wrong, Sainsbury's. More. So that was that bad. That the Robin fucked up. The Robin, the Robin. <laughs> Fuck this. The Robin was like. Yeah. I feel like we should watch the short version of this as well. We're giving them too much of a chance with all this. Okay. Too much setup. They're a minute and a half in. They haven't even mentioned Sainsbury's yet. Again, nothing to do with Sainsbury's, but just think about it. Who was the first guy that did that? Because you'd be fucking mad. I, he must have. No, like, surely it, there was some kind of communication, but he didn't just get up and walk out. Surely, I mean, if he did, I don't think it was one guy on its own. On his own, I think it must have been. They must have thought up the idea. Maybe they just attacked, but they forgot their guns and they just made the most of it. Where was the ball though? Who had a ball? Well, yeah, that's the other. Right. Let's let's find out. Let's find out. We've got the documentary in front of us. My name is Jim. My name is Otto. Pleased to meet you, Otto. Freut mich. Rose, she's called. Um, it's schön, um, it's schön. See, I've actually got no problem with the. Um, this is really hot. <laughs> with the um, with the video at all, it's actually really. It is really nice. Um, it might be a bit. You know, they might have made a everything look, to look to a bit... Yeah, yeah, it probably wasn't anything like that and taking selfies with each other. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting for the big Sainsbury, Sainsbury stamp to come on yeah. top of it, saying that this is... this is. Don't forget that we made this video. Don't forget, guys. Yeah, I mean, thus far, it just... It seems like a nice kind of Christmas advert without actually being about any kind of particular product. Maybe they could have done it without actually putting Sainsbury's on it. But they could have just... Just left it out there. It thought it'd be more like an advert for like the hundred year remembrance thing yeah. than a shop. Anyway. So yeah, well they sell Hovis at Seems to be so. Yeah, the big executives at Hobis going, don't forget, sell the bread! Danke. Happy Christmas. Awfully sunny on Christmas yeah. Day in 1914. Uh, mm. Oddly enough, they didn't do this again once the war had been going for a while. Yeah. They were a bit less keen to. Can you imagine the, the German troops telling their higher officers and telling people back home what they did? And then, wait, well, you won't be doing that again. <laughs> what, a, what a perfect. I bet they were licking their lips. Oh, we, we, we started to play football with them. Yes! yes! And then. Yeah, then we finished. Had a jolly good show. Poor <laughs> Weihnachten. <laughs> So 
see there it is. Christmas is for sharing. Christmas is for right, sharing. So we're three minutes in and they've got to a vague hint that it might actually be advertising yeah. something. Yeah, that's not exactly fair, is it? That's no. a big bar of chocolate. Think about the rations as well. Yeah. The rations. And you've probably got... Actually, when did rationing come in, wasn't that? Rationing was more Second World War, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it, but there probably was rationing in the First World War. Big bar of chocolate. Anyway. Um, yeah, all in all. It's a nice advert, but it's got nothing to do with Sainsbury's. It's, yeah, it's not as... And the other thing is, it's, it's kind of like the whole thing they've been doing this year where they're almost kind of glorifying the start of the war. Well, surely it's the end of the First World War that we should celebrate more. Yeah. You know, that's... It was, it was a bad thing. Yeah, but something but, still has something still has to be done too. Because... Well, why not do it in four it's, years' time? It's like, it's like three years ago, they knew this 100-year... Cel- no, well, you know, remembrance was coming. And it's always a big... 100 anything is always a big number. And even if it's, it starts... But, it's, as, but that's the thing, is it's 100 years since the start of the First World War. It should be 100 years since the end. Yeah. It should be... But it still is 100 years, so they've got it. That's got it. That's a big thing. It's a big media market thing, isn't it? I the, just, the big 100. If they don't do one in four years, I'll be pissed they off. Will, they I will. I will write in. They will, <laughs> yeah. Then there'll be a... Let, let's not let our... Um, Members of parliament and government leaders be fucking dickheads anymore and send a load of people out to slaughter. Uh, lots of moustaches. The moustaches, I think, were very... But that, that's the thing. A lot of people will say that it is it is just a nice advert from Sainsbury's. But I, I'm, I don't feel so naive to think that there's no, you know, yeah, hidden, hidden agenda really nice. behind it. It's, it's definitely... You know, it's not as evil as it as it may no, be perceived. They're, they're saying Christmas is for sharing, i.e. buy stuff then give it to people. Yeah, that, it's you know, a nice advert. Message. Still advertising Sainsbury's. Still, yeah. it's portraying Sainsbury's in a good light. And uh, everyone will remember that, which will, you know, inadvertently make them... Yeah. Apart from the fact that no one wants people to expensive. Yeah. I didn't even know that the whole advert thing was that big at Christmas. Oh yeah, people are always just like, like, oh my god, I saw the Coca-Cola advert. Yeah, but the it's first the Coca-Cola time. advert. That's just the Coca-Cola advert, and you see it every year. But I didn't know that the actual companies, other companies, are now getting involved. Or oh, trying to make a big in the Christmas yeah. Advert. So like the John Lewis advert came out first, and then you know everyone was like waiting to see what Sainsbury's would do. I didn't even know that that was a big thing. I just thought they would go, that Sainsbury's get this this year for tuppence. Um, that's Morrison's. That's isn't Morrison's. It? Yeah, be some Anton Deck. Okay, so any other business? Uh, I don't know, you, you didn't give me very long to think about the business. Uh, is there anything at all you want to talk about? Why is the sea salty? That sort of business, me and I own were thinking about it, neither of us actually know why the sea salty. Okay, that's two questions we'll, we'll answer. Let's, let's, let's go for why is the sea salty. Probably. Why is the sea salty? Obviously we have a tab and a phone here that we could just look up the answer on, but I'm, I yeah. want to know if anyone actually knows, just off the top of their head. No, that's cheating. Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Why is the sea salty? Please. Why is it salty? Right in. Thank you, bye. Good. Why is the sea salty? <laughs>